everyone, welcome to our human non-human discussion. Now today, going at the top, we're going to put uh, non-human. Now in the past, we've already drawn our human design. So our human design, just like so. Something basic. Like any of these. We've already got a human. Now we gotta go towards a non-human. Now, I'm gonna do a more specialized version in zombies because zombies is just the thing that I work on. And it's something that actually changes up a whole lot more aesthetically and structure-wise than than the human form. So, a couple things we gotta go over today. Now with the human, or non-human I should say, um, we got a couple things we need to talk about. A couple things, first off being the form. Now uh, here we have a human form, and this is one that I made a couple years back out of plaster. Um, you have the nose, the eyes, the mouth, but the big thing is that I want you guys to start thinking about these things in a three-dimensional landscape because the three-dimensional landscape we're going to be doing with our mask making our, our form. So we're going to be getting a form like this, which we will then cover with aluminum foil press in, make the form of the face, and then overlay it with paper mache But first, before we start working on that, we have to draw all of our human pieces out. So as I said today, we're gonna to do a zombie tutorial. So, zombies. Tutorial. All right, so for your zombie tutorial, we're gonna start off with a basic a frame for the nose. Now this just gives us our nose section and followed up by the nostril cavities which we will then blacken out. What we're doing now is the zombie, for the zombie makeup, zombie piece, we're going to do a traditional, I'm sorry not traditional, a new aspect on zombies. I like doing the newer version because the new version deals with a bacteria or a virus outbreak which is the one that I want to go on because it's just easier. Old school zombies were dealing with the night living dead where they have the dead rising out of the graves and that is not what we want to work on because you're dealing with uh, different kinds of theological debates, discussions that way, the, the dead coming to rise, and the, um, uh, necromancers, that kind of thing which is just more problematic. So. Dealing with the new zombies, which are a virus contagion has been released, caused an outbreak, everybody is now changing because of that. Alright, so a couple things I'm doing here are, we have an upside down nose because, or the pig nose, it's because the nose itself has been rotted off the face. If you're looking at a basic nose, the basic nose here, all of this is cartilage and plain simple tissue, uh, the bone structure happens back here at the top of the nose. Uh, that's where the bone is. So all of this down here is just fleshy meat, which deteriorates over time. Um, so I'm just going ahead and subtracting that from our design just because it makes the design process a little easier. Um, next, the eyes. On, what I've done here on the eyes is the eye socket where your eyeball sits inside of the skull. This round section here is the socket of the, in the side of the skull. The fleshy eyeball that sits inside of it is simply something that can deteriorate over time as well. So what we've done is I've drawn the outline of the skull shape, which will then darken out because the as you start to decompose, the water the water that is inside your system, inside of your bloodstream and whatnot, starts to evaporate and deteriorate over time. So as that deteriorates, we want to uh, kind of show that some the wrinkling of the skin the eyes being sunken in, the decay of the iris itself, so instead of having these vi bright, vivid, dark, rich pupils that are black, we're going to do a more grayed out, kind of just simple um, design structure because your cataract, uh, cataract, yeah, part of the iris where, cataracts, there we go, cataracts are starting to set in to where you don't see as as you as you used to um, and you have just this more milky looking eye shape to them. This is, I'm just scribbling these things in real quick. Now down to the mouth. Now we've got a couple mouth options. We can do an open mouth, a closed mouth, or a mouth where we have our tongue bitten off which is one that I'm going to do. So I'm just going to start with way down below and just draw where the tongue should fit inside the mouth. I'm going to do a couple scallop pieces. 
and drop those down and come back in. Now I'm going to use a stippling technique to add a little bit of that disease bit into there. Remember we want to stick with those dots, don't want to stab at the paper and make that god awful sound. Just want to give those dots to show a little bit of that structure. Again, you're going to do stippling for the tongue because the tongue, the taste buds are still going to be vibrant on there. Now the uh, for the tissue sampling that we're dealing with zombieism on this one, we're dealing with a uh, the zombies are eating the human flesh or eating people because it, we're trying to sustain life by eating organic tissue. A couple teeth, what we're adding in right now. So all I'm doing is like upside down L's or L brackets and just kind of stacking them on top of each other. Now as it gets out towards the side over to the molar section, um, that going to be a little bit of an oval. Jack that up a little bit there. A little bit of an incisor. Get a little bit of that molar and side of the mouth. Now all this would be blacked out, so I'm just really quickly just going to put some lines in here. This would be darkened up later. I'm not going to do it right now, just for time's sake. And then we got for the mouth, the lips are going to come in, or whatever might be left of those lips. So just a jagged line around, which put a little bit of a lip line on top like this. Now let's say the bottom of the lip was gnawed off in a battle. So I'm just going to bring that line down, not connect it. All this stuff would be shadow grayed out. Show a little bit of that disease. And down to the chin area. Now for the jaw, is stretched out here, so we're going to have a longer, less of a rounded J on the side of the head, more of a stretched out version. An ear shape just to give that last bit of human essence that's left in, in our guy here. Now on the top of the head, let's just a little bit of a jagged line here because we're going to have our brains exposed. Now the rest of this is all going to be in shading and detail. So you want to start off with a bunch of baselines to show the structure of where the skin's getting tight. Now on our shading that we're going to be doing, we're going to start heavy by the line and as it comes away, we're going to let it get lighter and lighter. Till, until we have our finished piece. I'm going to pause this and when it comes back I'm going to have the finished piece and you should see just the last finale steps and be done with this. Good luck. Hey class, I hope that you liked that last video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe down there at the bottom. Now I'm going to get back to uh, doing my thing which is uh, working on my own stuff. So uh, don't forget to follow me on the web. I got a bunch of places you can find me, such as Pinterest, or no, not, not, we're not doing Tumblr. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, GroupMe, that's a new one for me, and Steam, uh, and my personal favorite, YouTube. Check me out, like and subscribe. See you guys later, next class. Follow, see you later. Next class, do your homework.